Are you looking to get cybersecurity training? Are you strapped for cash or concerned because you only see really expensive training courses out there? Well, stick around for this video and I will give you some of the best ways to either get discounted or free cybersecurity training to help you progress your career. But first, if this is the first time that we're meeting, welcome to my channel. My name is John Good and here I get to spread my passion for cybersecurity training, tips and tricks, and career advice to help you go further. Remember to gently tap that thumbs up to like this video, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss future content, and leave a comment for the YouTube algorithm. If you like my training and you want more, head on over to my website at johngood.com where I have full training courses without distracting interruptions or advertisements. If you just want to donate to support the channel, that's cool too. Visit the link in the description to donate. Also, make sure to join the growing Discord server to join some awesome conversations. The link is in the description. All right, let's get into the video. One of the things that I noticed very early on in my cybersecurity career is that although there's a lot of great training options out there, a lot of them are expensive and can be out of reach for a lot of people that are new to the career field. Think about it. You could go to college and get a degree where you might rack up $10,000, $20,000 of debt or more. You might even take some professional training courses from some of the various vendors where you might spend $1,000, maybe a couple thousand dollars for a week's worth of training. Even though cybersecurity is a very desirable field that pays very well, it's pretty hard to justify spending even $500 on a course where you might be low on cash already and just trying to break into the field. In this video, we're going to walk through some of the ways that you can get either discounted or even free training to help you out in your cybersecurity journey. Before we get going, I want to point out that this video was a request from a viewer, and if you ever have any ideas on videos that you want to see, make sure to let me know. The first vendor scholarship that I want to talk about is through CompTIA. If you've done any research into cybersecurity certifications, then you've likely heard about CompTIA being a certification vendor that is aimed at entry-level certifications. CompTIA makes certifications like the A+, Network+, and the Security+. Plus. Those are the three most common that most people have heard of. CompTIA scholarship is for $2,000, which honestly can pay for a lot of training as a beginner if you use it wisely. CompTIA certifications typically cost between three and $400, so you could easily squeeze out three certifications with that scholarship. Of course, the biggest factor with the CompTIA scholarship is that you're contributing to a local chapter or to your IT community. I actually think that that's pretty fair that you have to show some kind of contribution to the community or the industry because that shows a desire to get into the field in advance. So this is the website for the CompTIA scholarship program. And I'll make sure to include this in the description so that you have this and can link to it. But this is the website for it and how you sign up. You can see that there's a couple different types. There's the CompTIA Rising Star. And there's the CompTIA Student Chapter Leader Scholarships. And you can just click on whichever one that you want to do. And it will give you the different things that you need to do in order to apply to it. You just fill out all this information for it. CompTIA also posted a brief bio about the previous winners which is nice because you can actually review what they put and see how they stood out from their peers. So if you want to see where that is, it's on the website and then you go all the way down to the bottom here and then you have this learn about the 2019 winners. And you can see the different winners. They have a little bit of a bio about them and just their journey. So definitely check this out. It's definitely interesting and worth a read. The second opportunity is actually one that I offer through my training courses and videos. In 2019, I made the decision to start making training videos on all kinds of different cybersecurity topics and certification training courses in order to help people advance their careers. Some of the training topics include CompTIA Security Plus, ISC Squared's CISP, and Ethical Hacking. If you've seen any of my other videos, you might have noticed that I have a lot of free training and advice on YouTube. But through my website, you can actually access all of my training and courses. If you're interested in my training, all you have to do is go to my webpage and then go to the courses page here, and you'll see all the different trainings that I have to offer. I have a link in the description of this video if you're interested in learning more about my training courses. In addition, through my newsletter, which you should sign up for and get a free copy of my ebook about cybersecurity careers, I will also send out periodic discounts 
or have giveaways for the community. If you want to sign up for the newsletter, again, go to my website here and go to the newsletter page and then just fill out the information and you'll be directed to where you can download the free ebook. Moving on to the third training opportunity, which comes from the Center for Cyber Safety and Education. Now, I found this website by searching on the ISC Squared website, which is the vendor who is best known for developing the CISSP certification. Now, these scholarships cover quite a bit more people because they have scholarships specifically for women, undergraduate students, graduate students, and veterans. Each category has a specific set of requirements that you have to meet, but just like all scholarship opportunities, you really want to set yourself apart from your peers when you apply. It's not enough to just say that you want to get into cybersecurity because it's a hot field. You really want to try to get involved in the technology community. And this is the website for this scholarship program. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch of different categories that you can apply to. So you just go in here and you click on one of these and they will tell you what you need to do, what the requirements are in order to be eligible. Again, there's women's scholarships, undergraduate students, graduate students, veterans, and so on. So definitely check this one out as well. Now, I hope that you're enjoying the content in this video so far. If you are, make sure to gently tap that thumbs up to like this video. And if you think of any questions, let me know down in the comments below. Also remember that this training and full courses can be found on my website at johngood.com without distracting interruptions or advertisements. All right, let's get back to the content. Now for Cisco, I couldn't find any active scholarship program that exists, at least not directly from Cisco as of this recording. Does that mean there aren't any that exist? Not necessarily, but I was able to find a scholarship program that existed within the last few years on cybersecurity from Cisco directly. Specifically, Cisco put $10 million into this program and gave participants access to their official training and free exam vouchers. This program is a reason why you need to keep your eyes open as opportunities become available. Cisco provided training to more people than any of these other scholarships. So just by applying, you had a high chance of being accepted. And this was the scholarship program that I was talking about. If you're interested in checking this out, it has all the requirements that they had and how people were eligible and all the details that are relevant to it. Again, this is not ongoing anymore. This was stopped. But this happened within the last couple of years, and this would have been a great opportunity if this was open as of today. Again, keep your eyes open for similar type of opportunities. The NSA, or the National Security Agency, is another organization that provides scholarships in a more traditional sense because they don't have their own certifications where you might spend the money. Due to the mission of the NSA, for these scholarships expect a U.S. citizenship requirement, unlike some of the other opportunities, which might not require that. A huge benefit of the NSA program is that by getting a scholarship from them, you significantly increase the chance of securing a job with them either over the summer as like an intern or even full time when you graduate. Think of the stress that you can relieve just by knowing that you have employment secured. There are several different programs through the NSA, so I suggest that you check out the link to the website that I've included in the description. Just so you can see what I'm talking about, this is the website for the NSA. And again, I'll have this in the description, but then you can go to the scholarship program and you can see that there's a few different options that you can apply to. So again, definitely check this out. The last option is through YouTube. Although YouTube isn't a scholarship program, you can learn a lot through professionals like myself just by doing a quick search. The benefit of YouTube is that you can view the content for free, but you need to be careful since anybody can post to YouTube so you might not always find credible information. Like I said earlier, I put up a lot of content on YouTube, which is sometimes even full courses. This isn't about getting rich for me. It's about helping people advance their careers and their profession. Question of the day, which training path from this video are you going to pursue? Let me know down in the comments section below. In this video, we talked a lot about the ways that you can access training for either a discount or even free throughout your career. As you progress in your career and you earn a higher salary, you'll be able to afford different training paths to learn new skills, but as always, you should look for the best return on your training. As always, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my website at johngood.com for more training without distracting interruptions or advertisements, and I'll see you next time.